Hello and welcome to uh, John Does Flow. I'm John and I do quite a lot of things with flow. Anyway, um, yeah, welcome to um, welcome to the channel. If you've not been here before, um, I am um, a, a really passionate about Power Automate, uh, Power Virtual Agents and the rest of the Power Platform, um, as well as uh, mental health and um, uh, community as well. Um, one of the uh, things that's really good with mental health is about exercising and um, you know keeping active. Uh, I've got myself a Fitbit and um, I was looking to um, build some flows uh, that would look at um, uh, the Fitbit um, API endpoint to try and pull some steps and that kind of thing. So um, what I did was, um, first of all, you have to go to um, dev.fitbit.com forward slash apps forward slash new. I'll put all the links down in the um, in the um, uh, description of the video. And you need to register an app. Um, you also need to sign in. If you've got a Fitbit account, then yeah, sign in with that. Otherwise, just register a new, a new account and sign in. So we're going to give it a name. Um, Don does flow tracking app. And that can be the same description. Uh, for the application website, yeah, we'll just use my website. Oh, put an S there. Uh, it, it, it doesn't take just www.johndasflow. You need to put the HTTPS at the start. So, um, John does flow, organization website, terms of service. Yeah, that's all fine. Uh, for here, we can choose personal and we're going to put in the callback URL of the local host. Um, uh, sorry, local host. And then we're going to click register. Click register. And then we've got all of these inform all of this information that we're going to need later on when we're building the Power Automate custom connector, uh, the client ID, the client secret, uh, which is used as part of the OAuth 2.0 authentication, callback URL, the authorization URI, and the refresh token refresh URI. So we're going to now jump over to Power Automate. We're going to go into data in the left hand side and custom connectors and wait for that to load and then we're going to go new custom connector and create from blank i'm going to give it a name click continue uh, Okay, api.fitbit.com and we'll click security. I'm going to use OAuth 2.0 and we're going to change that to Fitbit and the client ID we're going to get from over here and the client secret and the scope I've got that saved so I'll just grab that. Again, I'll put that on the um, the link. But that's basically all of the endpoints that we could potentially connect to to get any kind of data from our Fitbit account. So we're going to click Definition now. I'm going to go New Action. And we're going to call this one uh, Get Lifetime Step Count. Copy that down there. Operation ID is just the same but without any spaces. And we're going to import from a sample, and we're going to because we get we're going to get the information from the Fitbit API. So we click get, and the URI um, URL is going to be this. All this documentation can be found on the um, uh, Fitbit website. So here, I'm in the dev.fitbit website, and yeah, I'm in this get lifetime stats bit, which tells me the get call that I need to use. When you're putting it in, though, you need to put um, curly brackets around the user ID because that's the variable that we're going to be passing through to the URL to be able to get this information. Um, and then we're just going to click import. OK, we're going to leave the response as is. We're not going to touch that. Uh, click update connector. And then we're ready to create our flow once that's saved.
I'm going to click create. Uh, we're going to do an instant cloud flow and we're going to manually trigger a flow from a button. Uh, we need to pass the user ID. So um, user ID and then we are going to go to the custom section and we're going to choose Fitbit and we're going to get the lifetime step count and we are going to pass the user ID um, variable that we set in the trigger and then we're going to click save to get my to get the user ID uh, you need to go to fitbit.com sign into your account and then click on the um, the uh, person icon here and your ID is just here so click on that and let's test it and there we go we have got a response from the um, when it loads from the Fitbit API and there is the total number of steps which we can then use later on okay thank you very much uh, this was uh, uh, an intro into creating a custom Fitbit API for Microsoft Power Automate um, if you've got any questions please leave them in the comments below and I'll see you again next time thanks a lot bye bye